Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. Today we're going to start a new Let's Play on a game called Center Station Simulator. As you can see from the title screen here, I am recording this right near Halloween here in 2024. So we've got some extra holiday <laughs> Halloween content we'll see here. Uh, let's jump into a new game and then I'll explain kind of what we're going to do this series. We've got a little intro sequence here. The use key to open the door. Got a doorbell sound. This is my cool little pad here. I got a pinball machine. Pretty sweet. I got a little milk bottle, it looks like. And this over here is kind of cool. These are actually little machines and stuff that we're going to be building in the game. So these are tiny little miniature models of what we're actually going to be building as we play Center Station Simulator. So that's kind of cool. TV and some speakers. Let's go answer the door. Now here's my kitchen. Looks like I got some stuff spilled on the ground. Nice pantry. Where's the front door? This way. Okay, we got a little package here. Press E to pick it up, and it's G, I think, to drop things. And right click to open. Oh, check it out. I got, <laughs> I got one of those things there. Uh, I don't even know what they call those. All right, I got a letter here for my grandson. My grandson, if you receive this letter, it means it's time for me to retire. You've always been very inventive and creative. Your ingenuity in building futuristic machines will help you in your future. I'm handing over my biggest project to you, a supermarket called Center Station. This is located in the middle of the desert. You will have to produce and manufacture everything you want to sell. Delivery trucks are not allowed to cross this desert, yet vehicles pass through regularly. I will let you discover the secrets of this building. Grandfather, who loves you very much. Yes, I'm attaching the keys, the official document, or I'm attaching the official document and the keys. Okay, so I think G to drop this. We'll just throw it on the floor unceremoniously. Hey, certificate de propriété. That's showing that we are now own the store and it's signed. And boom, there's our keys to the store. We don't actually need these. We're just going to drop all that on the floor. <laughs> so let's head out. Head out, head out. This is just kind of the opening sequence. It's E to interact with the elevator button. Head out, head down, and go see our store that we just inherited. Alright, create a new game. And give it a name. Ladder Cat, let's play season one. Let's get started. Pretty cool with the Halloween content. All right, there is our store. All around us is the desert. You can see these huge dunes. And we got one main road that's actually tunneled under the dunes that comes through and passes by our store. And the cars that come through here eventually are the ones we're gonna to wanna to attract as customers. But we are starting from scratch. We get a nice building here, all decked out for Halloween. Uh, there's a little ramp here. Oh, check it out. <laughs> oh, there's a little ghost. I like it. Uh, down here, this is actually kind of cool. This is um, basically a tunnel so that people who park can walk under the road without having to cross it. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Um, but this actually shows some of the features that they're planning on implementing along the walls here. They've got posters of clothing, trains, who knows what else. In progress, this looks like some kind of factory setting. So pretty cool. You can see the tunnel says roadmap. Anyway, let's get into our store and get started. Now this game, if you like grind, if you like grind, you might play this game and say, uh, that's too much grind. If you love grind, you might play this game and say, um, it's too much grind. <laughs> but if you really, really love grind, man, this is the game. There is a ton of grind. Now you start out, it's very manual, and then eventually we will be able to automate things a little bit more and more, and it gets easy. There is a ton of products that we need to manufacture from scratch or grow from scratch. So we got everything from produce to pistons, engine pistons, that we can make and sell in this game. But let's follow the tutorial in the top right. I'll stop yakking and we'll get to playing here. It says on your right, open the security door in front of your desk room and push on the lever to switch on the power. Okay, there's security. If the power runs out, you can come back here to activate it again. And then there's our little 
power box. I think it's the only thing we can really interact with. And we're generating 10 watts of power so far. It says use the E key to pick up the solar panel kit. So we've got some boxes on the floor here. Um, take an item box and you will have, you will have to build three solar panels present in the security room. Okay, so let's, ooh, I, did, I didn't even follow the directions. I'm going to drop that. I'm going to hit E to pick up this solar panel kit. That is a piece of the kit. We'll come back and grab it. We need to take this out back. This is the back of our store. We've got an oil rig. We've got an ore mine. We've got a well here for water. We've got a big drilling rig that'll get us ore in an automated fashion later on. And we've got other things that I don't even, I don't even know what they are yet. But I do know we need to build solar panels over here. I'll drop this with the G key. And then it says, Head to the solar panels area, lay the box on the floor with the G key, use a bucket of asphalt within the blue area to be able to build your first solar panel. Okay, so first we need to pave this little plot, grab some asphalt that they gave us, hit E, pave it, and now we gotta throw the components from this kit into this little construction. And we do it just by right clicking and taking an item out of the box and then E to throw it into the construction. So right click E, right click E, right click E. And now I need, need to go get that component that I dropped. Or that I took out too early. Oops, in here in the security room. So let's pick that up. You can only carry one item at a time in this game as far as I know. Um, like these kind of items. Eventually we will we'll have a um, container where we can pick up multiple items of the same type. We'll see that in a little bit. Let's do the rest of these. E, not the flashlight. E, and then we'll go get these other solar panel kits and get those set up. Because <clears throat> your solar panels can be dirty. Uh, pick up your broom using one and clean them. And you can see your power consumption at the bottom right of your screen. Small thunderbolt. All right, 50% power consumption. G to release, right, E, right click, E. Right click, E, and then they open up another pad for us. We got one last bucket of asphalt. Eventually, we'll be able to make asphalt ourselves. We'll be using a lot of it, I believe. Let's get that last solar panel set up. Oh, I did the same thing. I'm just going to drop this over here. E, E, E to pick up and right click to take from kind of thing. All right, solar panels can get dirty. We can see there's one dirty right here. Uh, if you look at the bottom of the screen, we've got a little hot bar and we have a few tools just on hand with us. Flashlight, which I keep ticking on by accident. And then one of these tools is number one, it's the broom. And we can just brush over the dirty solar panel. And now we're getting full energy production. Hit one again to get rid of the broom. Now it says head to your basement next to the security door. Use the B key. Open your building menu, it's a small notebook, and build a small planter with the materials in the kit, Phoenix Plantation Box, and repeat this six times. Okay. Here it is, Phoenix Plantation Kit. And we want to build, they got, we gave us six of these. So let's do it. I'm going to put these over here. Uh, or no, first we got to go into B. B. And we got to pick out of this notebook a small planter. That's this guy. We'll pop down kind of the little blueprint. I'm going to line this up kind of the wall, but I want room to walk behind it. So I'm going to do right there. And then same thing as four. Right click to remove from the box and E to s slap it in to the uh, little construction blueprint. Boom. We got our first planner. We need to do six of these. 
Uh, so let's do the notebook. Oh, planter. That one came out a little crooked. I'm gonna line it up at the wall and then bring it over. Moom. Another one. Get six of these. Trying to get it in a good spot. But yeah, there, this game. Oh man, you're gonna see lots of grind. Let me know. Um, I mean, for this series to last, I gotta see likes and I gotta see watch time. So definitely, if you wanna see this game, this series continue, please do hit the like button or let me know in the comments what you think. Okay, that's two of them. These little uh, planters are going to get us our first source of wood, actually, and then eventually I think we can grow vegetables and fruits and vegetables here in these things. And they're giving us these kits to start us out, like the solar panel kit, but eventually we're going to be very, very soon, actually. We're going to be building things from scratch. Meaning we're gonna have to make the planks, we're gonna have to make the compost that I just dumped in there by hand. Alright, let's see what it says now. Outside of the supermarket is a water well. On the right of it, you can use the E key on the screen to start it. And your maximum water consumption is on the bottom right of your screen. Okay. Shows I think we're using 20% of our current electric capacity. Uh, they said straight out the door, so straight ahead. This is our water well. And we have to activate this. It gets us 20 water. If I say start. I think it... Yeah, now it's using 10 power. Uh, but we've got water. Being pumped from that. Now it says take your bucket using the 2 key. So 2 to bring up our bucket. And to fill your bucket, hit the E key. Don't switch tools while the water is in the bucket or its contents will be lost. There's our little water pump actually pumping there. There's a little animation. So E to fill the bucket, and you probably guessed it. We gotta make six trips here to fill these little planters. Oink. Uh, did I mention there's a bit of a grind? <laughs> Especially early on. And long term, we're gonna be able, well, not even long term, pretty soon we're gonna be able to um, put a water spigot down here in our basement, and we won't have to make this trip. And then I'm guessing maybe eventually we'll be able to have it completely automated, but I'm not sure. But we are starting from nothing. We got a pretty nice uh, store building here. But other than that, it's all getting put together from scratch for us. We're going to have to do the heavy lifting. Now, the developer issued me a key to this game many, many months ago. I had requested it. And I've been itching to play it for quite a long time. There's a couple um, YouTubers that I watch that are also playing this that have been playing it for a pretty long time. It's uh, Mr. Species 7 and Old Man 102. I'll put links to their um, their YouTube pages, if not their the playlist for their uh, Center Station Simulator series that they've got going. They are pretty far along. And there's a ton you can do. We're going to build gas pumps, automated checkout things. It's uh, There's a lot. There's a lot. All right. Plant tree seeds in each planter. You have access to six tree seed bags and two bamboo seed bags on the floor next to the stairs. Don't hesitate to look at your building menu to see what you can build with bamboo. All right. Let's do it. These are our seed packets. And this one 
I'm not even sure if that, I think that might be French or something. Uh, let's do... These are the trees. These are going to get us wood that we can make planks and stuff out of. I'm thinking we'll do... Let's do four of those. And then in here somewhere, I think in the back... Yeah, this one is bamboo. This is kind of a special plant. It's going to allow us to build um, certain structures. We can look and see that, just like they're suggesting. We'll look in the build menu real quick, and I'll show you. We hit build, yeah. Storage units, so store logs. Uh, 18 bamboo sticks to store bamboo itself. 8 bamboo. To cart veg fruits and vegetables around. We can do that out of wood. We'll be making planks. Um, what's that? This one's got bamboo too. Storing ore. So we'll do two for bamboo and we'll do um, four for actual wood. Wood's got a bunch of uses. We can use it for fuel too. All right. Head outside after the water well and search for the mine. Once you find it, use your three key to take out your pickaxe. Use left click twice on the lighter stone to extract stone or clay. Do it until you have ten stones. All right, the mine is back here. Also with Halloween decorations for now. Oh man, that looks, oh man, got nails in the mouth. That looks pretty uh spooky. Uh, this is actually our little storage container that we can use to haul ore around. So here's the mine, it looks awfully voxely. We'll bring out the pickaxe, it's number three, and they want us to tap on the light stone here. So let's do a little mining. And they want us to get 10 stones. These light blocks get us um, either stone or clay. And then the dark blocks get us about seven different kinds of ore. And again, this starts out pretty manual. Eventually, I think this gets automated quite a bit. I'm just going to chew back these light stones, and then we'll see what's dropping on the ground here in a second. I can't get that one without getting this ore. Let's just chew back some of this ore, too, and we'll see that. So this, I can't, <laughs> I'm colorblind, so I'm not going to describe the colors. But this one right here is clay. And this one right here is stone. And we want stone. So I put away my pickaxe, grab this guy with the E key. And then I can E, get the E button over the stone. And they want us to take 10 of these. So let's take 10. Let's go back to your basement. Open the... Building menu with the B key and go to the foundry tab and build one or more wood foundries. So down we go. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to drop this guy. In order to get the ore out of this, we just right click it and it goes and makes a big old mess. And now we need to go to the build menu and foundry section. There's foundry. And I think they want us to build this guy right here. It takes 10 stone. Where do we want to put this? Oh, man. Now i got to think a little bit about how I want to lay things out. Uh, I don't have to overthink it, though. Let's, um, let's put this guy... I want to line this up with the wall first. It's hard to tell if it's on an angle or not. Boom. Now it's kind of straight. Let's put this first one right there. Oh, you know what? I'll show you what. Probably should have just left these in this little storage container. But instead of hauling these little stones one by one, I think we can just walk up to this guy and hit E. Yeah. And empty the, what it's holding into the little building blueprint. Keep hitting flashlight. So now we got a furnace. Uh, go back to the mine, use the three key again, take out your pickaxe, left click on the black stone to extract one or more iron ores. There will also be, there's also a drill next to the water well. 
where you can obtain iron ores and stones faster. We can, but we can't do it yet. I think this is what they're talking about as far as like getting to do it faster. It takes 20 power. We don't have that yet. And then it costs money to dig deeper. It looks like early on you get stone and iron. Um, but we don't have 20 power. The reason I know that, or the way I know that, I think if we look in here, it tells us. <gasps> 26 watts. Ooh, maybe we can do it. Let's try. Let's see if it lets us. Alright. Oh, it's working. Let's see. I have not used this yet. Alright, one or 25 ores. Okay, it's getting ore here. You can see it says iron, one, stone, one. Two out of 250 ore. This is using a lot of power. But oh man, that would be way faster. While that's mining though, let's go... Um, it's going to take a while. Let's go over here and see if we can mine some ore the, the more manual way. Um, that is chewing up a lot of our power. Uh, so they want us to tap on this stone. And we did get some more down here. But let's, uh, let's do some more of this. Knock out some of these and see if we can pick out the iron ore among all the stuff that's going to drop. Now the mining drill outside, it looks like that's only going to get us stone and iron. We need a ton of both of those, or mostly the iron more than the stone, I think, early on. Um, but we're going to need copper and stuff, and it looks like early on we're only going to be able to get that from these blocks. A few more of these, and then we'll pick up what we can. And run it down to our basement and start loading that furnace up. And we can also check on our trees, see if they're growing. Alright, that might be good enough. Let's see, I gotta put this guy away. Iron, I think that's it. Yeah, this one. I'm colorblind, so I can kind of tell these colors apart. But it's not as easy as it might be for you. Alright, we got 11 iron. That'll be, that's a start. And then we'll see if we can grab some out of the drill here on the way back. G to drop this guy. I do iron. Ache. Take, 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 take. <laughs> it looks like it just drops it on the ground, but that's fine. Uh, oh, no, it's in there. At least it puts it in a little holder. We can grab these two. Cool. I didn't even know that thing worked this early in the game. So we're learning together. All right. Looks like our trees are growing. That's all good. I'm going to G to put this guy down. Well, let's load this guy up with one. Are these guys ready? They are. So let's throw a log in this thing, and now we're smelting iron. We've got some extra logs here. I'm just going to dump these off to the side. Bamboo. This goes flying for some reason. And then as we farm, we get to, uh, the seeds kind of drop back out. We should always be able to replant, and then eventually we get... You know, every once in a while you get like a bonus seed comes out. I just planted two bamboo. That's all I want for bamboo. And then this guy there. Pick up that packet. And we don't need to water every planting, which is nice. But we got four kind of wood trees growing. We got two bamboos. We got three extra logs, and we got two. Uh, bamboo. I had to think and we should get another smelter. It says now we wait. Use the E key while aiming at the iron ingot to take it. Yeah, it's not ready yet. Let's go get more um let's go get more stone. Ten more stone. 
In fact, we oh, I gotta empty this guy out. This little sphere will only hold one material at a time. And early on, we have to just dump this stuff, and it's a mess. But we'll get organized later. That bamboo is going to allow us to uh, organize things a little bit better, but it's going to take some time. I want ten stone so I can make another furnace. Let's uh, see if we can tap into this resource first. Uh, awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh man, that is, that's pretty sweet. I think we're still going to get stuck doing some manual mining, like a fair amount of it too, but we'll take what we can get. All right, another furnace. Or foundry, they call it in this game. That lined up, I'm going to just put this up against the wall. Can't tell if it's straight. Snuggle these guys up. Boom. Build that guy. Throwing a lump of iron. Throwing a logarino. Now we're done. There's our first iron ingot. E to take it out and G to throw it on the ground. Throw more ore in there. All right. Now what do they want us to do? Use the B key to open your building menu and go to the machinery tab and build a workbench. Don't tell me what to do. Build a workbench. Uh, where might you be, workbench? There it is. It's gonna take six logs and two iron ingots. Where do we want to put this feller? I think we're gonna put this feller right here. Again, I'm gonna make sure this thing's lined up. Every once in a while, they come out angled a little tiny bit. Boom. We're going to be able to expand this basement as well. Like open it, open it up. But I think it's going to take a bit of time. All right. We need two iron ingots, it said. There's one of them. And we needed a bunch of logs too, like four logs, something like that. What are these guys doing? They're still growing. These guys are still cooking. Not much I can do other than just wait. Um, what could we do? Could go mine. Let's go grab some more ore from the mine. No, we're going to need copper. I can't get that from the mining drill. While we're up here, there's a little guy here who's got missions for us. Let's read what it says. Hi, Grandpa's grandson. I'm Junior, an interplanetary merchant. I used to work with your grandpa before you came along. My ship crashed. I need your help to repair my advanced map. So he wants an advanced card. Um, we'll get around to him later. I'm not sure if we get money for that or what. We'll check this out. This is showing our water consumption. Oh, look at all this different stuff that we haven't even built yet. Gas station is awesome. Solar panels. It'd be nice to build more. Let's go get copper, though, while we're waiting on ore to smelt. We can't get it from there yet. We need to make money and upgrade that mining drill. Uh, let's see if I can pick out the copper. I think this one's not hard. That one, yeah. Let's grab some of this. We're going to need this too. And there's coal. We could use coal for fuel. All right, let's take the copper though. So coal will work in those um, little furnace smelter guys, forges. Got that there. Let's get... Oh, logs aren't quite grown yet. Uh, but our iron ingots are look like they're done. I think that's all we needed. Yeah. Let's drop an extra one over here. Throw in some more iron ore. I think we're going to need more iron than copper, so we'll emphasize that first. These are just about ready. There it is. Boom. One more. All right, we got a workbench, but let's plant this stuff back. 
in so we can keep production moving on the wood. The bamboo, I think, is still growing. Once it gets to five segments, one, two, three, four. It gets five segments tall, then it's done. All right, it says, look at the tablet on the workbench you just built. Use the E key on it and build the rotating blade. You can see all the crafts and items you need under the name of the item you want to build. Caution, if you click on delete while you're in the middle of crafting, items will be lost. Ooh, I have to remember that. All right, they want us to build the rotating blade. A small saw, rotating blade, this guy. So I pick that, it's gonna take two iron ingots and I say manufacture down here. Boink, puts down a little blue, kind of blueprint. And we just need to feed that guy two iron ingots. Uh, this guy needs more fuel, it looks like. He's not burning. Oh man, I don't have any more fuel. We could go run and get coal. Why don't we do that? I'm gonna dump this copper out. I know it's such a mess early on. But there's no real good way to be organized early on as far as I know. I'm just gonna grab some nuggets of coal that we mined. We can use that as fuel too in addition to the wood. Nuggets here that'll get us started. Pretty night sky. Whoops. Alright, so I can just lump coal, throw coal into there. Our power go out. Okay, power went out. Check if your solar panels are dirty. Go do a quick check. Oh, the doors don't automatically open, so I just gotta hit E. What's going on here, fellas? Yeah, I see dirty solar panels. This doesn't happen too frequently. I don't think it helps to do the clean ones, but. Uh, maybe I'll grab an ore since we're out here. <laughs> grab something. Longer walk than I ever thought. Uh, what is that? Silver. We're gonna need this. And I think we're gonna have to turn the power back on, too. It looks like the doors are stuck open. Let's do it. Oink. What's that guy on the ground? Uh, that guy needs fuel. Throw a lump of coal in there. And it needs something to smelt. Let's uh, stick with the iron for the moment. Got one iron ingot here, boom. Is bamboo done? Oh, it is done. Did I lie? One, two, three, four. I did. That one is not quite done. Alright, let's replant this guy. And that one's going to be done in a second. There is a tiny little sprout. If you look right where that center of the screen, there is a little tiny bamboo sprout there. Kind of hard to see, but it's there. And you. There's our second iron. Oink. All right, use the B key to open the building menu. Uh, in the machinery tab, you can build a small saw. So let's do that. Build. Small saw right here. Let's do it. Let's do it right next to our workbench here. Act. We can do it. Here, if I move that piece of bamboo, E a couple times to get rid of the blueprint. Let's move this guy off to the side. So, you know what? I want room to walk in between. Let's do it. Let's square this up against the wall. Make sure it's square. Yep. Yeah. I want room to walk around because we're going to be bringing materials by hand over to that workbench. 
a lot. There's our saw, a circular saw. Let's throw the blade in there. Then I think we need wood. I keep these smelters going. Those are not quite ready. Uh, let's see what else do we need for this thing. Oh. Electric saw main block. So this is the other thing we need to make. It's going to take eight iron ingots. Oh man. So we just hit manufacture and we'll get that blueprint going. And we can just start pumping this thing with iron ingots. That's obviously going to take a while. Boy, these trees sure look like they're done. Not quite. Not quite. We can go do some mining or we can go bring some more iron over. Let's um let's drop this coal. Oh, did that Oh, we can load this up with more resources, these um forges. So you're not limited to just one little lump of coal at a time. You can stock up. Let's go to the big mine. While we're waiting on that iron to smelt. I mean, we could build more um, little forges, but we don't have a lot of... Um, we don't have a lot of extra fuel right now. To keep them all burning. Let's pick up some stuff. Uh, we got cobalt. Let's get this blue stuff just out of the way. We're just going to clear the mine here for a minute. And I'm just going to dump these things outside. For now. Into semi-organized piles. We got a bunch of clay here. I'm going to pick that all up. Get it out of the way. I can only pick one material type, pick up one type of material at a time. Clay and stone, I'm going to put way over here. Eventually, all the stuff's going to be need to need to be carried in the basement, most likely. So, empty this guy out there. Uh, let's clear out the stone. Easy to pick out. Another piece hiding in there, yep. Dump this with the clay. Oop. And then I think let's head back in. I'm going to grab iron out of here, I think. So let's grab 20 iron from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, this little sphere will hold 20. Bring that down and harvest the ingots that are probably done by now. Pop those into here. Load this back up and drop off all this iron into a big messy pile. And let's harvest our wood. Um, I think this needs wood actually, yeah. Needs wood too. A little saw, table saw. So we'll throw all that in here for now. 
replant these guys up. Bamboo is still growing. We need more iron ingots, and then this guy I think needs might need more logs too. I'm not sure. If this is the component we're building on the workbench right now. It's gonna slap slap right in the middle there. Uh, let's go get more ore. And let's bring silver back. I think silver is this light one. Yeah, silver. We'll bring this down. And then we probably want to get that coal too. It's only four pieces though. Hmm. Long trip for four pieces of coal. <laughs> we are going to need the silver soon, I think. Uh, it doesn't matter, I guess, where we dump it. There's just no way to make a good, clean pile, as far as I know. See if this, these ingots are done. Looks like they are. We'll throw those in. For a little table saw base component. And load up our little furnaces. That looks done. This bamboo along the wall. That one's not quite ready. Replant. Ready, now he's ready. With that bamboo, one of the first things we're gonna build with it is a bamboo storage. So we need eight bamboo in order to build a storage for a bamboo and then that guy holds a ton and we don't have to fling him on the floor. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we just need one more crop of bamboo to come up. And then we can get that organized a little bit. Waiting for things to smelt. Let's go get more ore. Build time this way. We're gonna need to do it sooner or later. Uh, let's chew back some of this rock, actually. That's probably good enough for now. Let's take coal back, because we can use this for fuel. 
And as soon as we get that table saw going, we can start making planks with our logs. Oop. Grab as much coal as we can get here. Three more. Boom. All right. Get out of here. Should have two more iron planks waiting for us. In fact, we can do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then let's just dump the rest of this out. Because we may be using that for other things too. Grab these ingots, throw them in. Oh, we still need more. Fill up these guys. And harvest our wood. Get any more? Nope. He's done with that. We'll save these logs. We'll either make planks out of these or we can use it for fuel. We're doing a little bit of both of that, I'm sure. Plant you and you. You and you. So those guys are all planted. Okay, we're just waiting on... Oh, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, six. We need these guys before we can build our little storage rack for the bamboo. Well, we could go fetch some silver. Or we could make a couple more of these kilns. Or, <laughs> I keep calling them different things, forges. Let's make a couple more forges. Uh, and we'll go get 20 stone. Get a bunch laying out here. We can start with this. I think that's it for stone. So we need 12 more from our mine here. And we'll make two more forges. I guess we'll put these guys kind of back to back. Wood foundry. Line this up against the wall. There we go. That looks like it's squared off. One there. Just going to double check these. You can deconstruct when you get the materials back, as far as I know. And... And we'll just get these built. Um, we can pick up this coal. I guess we'll use this batch, this whole batch. In here, five each. One, two. Boom, and let's load these guys up with iron real quick. Harvest these iron. All right, that guy's done. And I'm just going to store that right there. Build these guys back up. And now our little base component here we can throw onto the table saw. Bam! And now we can make planks. Throw that guy on there. And look what it says. Take a wooden log in your hands. Use the E key on the small saw. Repeat this six times to create two planks. <laughs> Did I mention there's a grind? We gotta send that through six times to get two planks. Okay, we got one bamboo short. But being able to build a storage for bamboo. This is an extra wood seed. Let's get rid of that. I wanna keep two bamboo always going. For now, there's a little seedling right there. This guy looks like it's done now. No, not quite. Um, let's keep this guy moving. Done. So close, but not quite there. Uh, we can put down the blueprint for that, though. I want to build this guy. Bamboo storage. I'm going to put it right there. We can actually start building this thing. We 
you can slowly get more organized and not have so much stuff just flung about on the floor. Wouldn't be such a big deal if you could, you know, place these items precisely on the floor where you wanted them. But as it is, you just gotta fling them, as far as I can tell. But fortunately, we got these little storage containers we can build. It'll help us get a little more organized. Okay, this guy should be ready now. Still not ready. We got some ingots ready though. Let's clear it. Oh, power went out. We'll get to it in a second. I want to put a couple silver in. And now we're going to need that. And then the rest we can do iron. Uh, in fact, do we have copper way over here? Yeah, let's do a copper too. We're going to need these. Let's go fix the power situation. Okay, that's all looking clean. Probably should have brought um, the container, a little sphere with us. Yeah, that guy's back in action. This guy. How can this not be done? <laughs> oh, that's not a bug. How can that not be done? All right, what's next? No, oh, we gotta keep moving this wooden log through. Okay, take the wooden log in your hands, use the E key. Okay, yeah, repeat six times. They want us to finish this. One more time, and then that thing will spit out a couple planks for us. Boom. Finally. All right, that's done. Let's replant. What are you guys doing? You guys are ready. Throw another log on there. Store these off to the side. Um, replant. And we need to go get water for these guys. Let's go do that. All right, let's harvest our ingots first. Ingot. Ingot. And then we got a silver one. Let's put that over here for now. Another silver in there, and then this is, oh, silver. And I threw a copper here, I didn't want that. Let's put the copper right there. And we'll do one more copper. Those guys are cooking away. Wood is mostly grown, but you need to go get four buckets of water. Uh, no water's coming in, so we gotta kick the, start the well again. Going to use electricity. Yeah, we're not going to have to do this water shuffling too much longer. Hopefully, next episode we'll have it have it licked. We can put a, a water spigot down in the basement. I think they're going to let us do that next episode. We've got more things we've got to build. But we'll tough it out in the meantime. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, let's stop there, not bad. We got a little tiny bit of organization started <laughs> with our little rack for bamboo. We got six planters going. Uh, we're making planks. We'll use these for building things, building more storage too um, for those. We got our table saw built. We got our workbench built. We've got four of these guys. And we are off and running. 
Yeah, next episode, hopefully we can build the water spigot um, and make plastic. We're going to need plastic for that. But yeah, that's it for this episode. There is a lot of grind in this game, but man, as you play, you get to, uh, there's definitely a strong feeling of progression as you play this game, and there is so much to build. And the game is still in active development. Again, it's Center Station Simulator. I'll put links in the description to the Discord and the Steam page. And then I'll also put links to those two YouTubers I mentioned, Old Man 102 and Mr. Species 7. They both have really long series on this game. Uh, they're currently running. But yeah, that's it for this one. I want to thank Laudercat patrons and channel members for their support. And with that, I'll see you all in the next one.